Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. I'm Mike A10. So we are pressing on here um, in this area. I'm probably going to do some a little bit of grinding after um, in between this video and the next. Probably, you know what we'll do. Let's um, let's go into this happy little farm right here for now. Now this ranch becomes quite important to a major side quest of the game. Um, and it's essential right now to advancing in the game. Uh, work, 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 work. He wants to talk to me. So we want to talk to him and say work and do a dance. Or let them do a dance rather. Very nice. And I received a Chocobo Mog material. Well, how about that? Maybe I should equip that on somebody. Right now, Barrett's got the only open uh, slot now. Chocobo Mog is, you know, a little silly. You've seen other um, similar. Uh, Abilities from some of the games, um, basically, um, I mean, it's silly because of the presentation, like what happens with the chocobo attacking and either sitting on, falling on, or crashing into an enemy, but uh, it's important to point out that this particular summon, um, and I'll explain summons in a second, is uh, a wind type, so it's a wind elemental attack. So. We'll put that on Barrett. Now, summons in this game are... Um, uh, if you've played Final Fantasy X, they're like Aeons. If you've played Final Fantasy VIII, they're like Guardian Forces. Uh, in this game, they are summons. You can summon the creature into battle to fight for you, but only for one move. I am thinking of crossing the marshes. Oh, you say, huh? Yeah, it makes sense. The Midgar's on, what's that? Wow, that sounds creepy. Oh, so it knows when I'm trying to cross the marsh, huh? That's not good. Oh, so chocobos are faster. Oh, uh, maybe we should talk to your grandson then. Well, let's go find this guy's grandson. He's in the barn. Hello, who are you? Sure, I'll have one. Huh? Hold folks. Catch a chocobo? Yeah, tell me about it. Okay, so the claw prince. Uh, what's this chocobo lore? It's a type of materia. So, to catch one. Oh, so if it appears with monsters, I gotta defeat the monsters. And the Chocobo m lore materia will help that Chocobo show up. And apparently I need to bait it with greens. In order for it to not run away.
Yeah, I guess we'll get down to business. Wow, you got a steep price for this thing. Yeah, well, I got no choice but to buy it. Yeah, I guess I have to. Alright, so... Um... For the moment... Um... You can be cheap here. Because the chocobo around here... Um... There are different levels of chocobo. The chocobo around here are the lowest level, so you can be cheap and buy... Um the lower greens here, but obviously the more expensive ones are better greens that attract um, higher level chocobos. What I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a couple of these. I'll, I won't go extremely cheap, I'll go to the second level high and we'll go with those for now. Because we're not going to buy, uh, we're not going to catch any more chocobo for a while. But later in the game we will, and then we'll have more money to buy other things. So, we've got our greens, we've got chocobo lore, Hopefully we know how to catch one. With that said, what I'm going to do before that, before I catch that chocobo, because once you catch that chocobo, then you gotta go use it to go across the marsh. Uh, okay, so we got these enemies here. These guys in the back row are called the Moo. We're still looking for them to actually do a rare attack on us. So we'll see if we can get them to do it in this battle. So I'm just going to basically try and take out this other enemy first. They have these other attacks that they like to do first. There it is. That's what we wanted. And we learned the skill level 4 suicide. Thank you, we don't need to sense him now. We can use it against him if we wanted to. Or we'll just use Matrix Magic. And a little fire, maybe. Whoa. I think I need to use some healing wind. That's what I think. She's using fire, so... Oh, and by the way, that level 4 suicide puts you in mini mode. You can see that Cloud is actually in mini right now. And I can go rust up at the barn to get rid of mini. Or actually, he's got sad. So I'm going to go rest up at the barn, but uh, I just want to show you uh, uh, getting that particular. Okay, now we're going to catch a chocobo. So we got to run around on these chocobo tracks and so make sure you have the chocobo lore materia uh, equipped on one of your three party members. Oh, look at these guys. I think we can actually possibly steal from these guys. Possibly. Oh, well, not this time. Oh, 
Let's try and catch that chocobo. Or in here, uh, if we talk to him again, um, another person heading towards the marshes wearing a black cape. Oh yeah, the Midgar Zolan probably got him. So now with the Chocobo, we got the Chocobo lore, Materia, equipped on Barret. And we're going to... Try and get a chocobo. I'm just gonna run for the heck of it. Just to speed things along. Okay, so you know immediately, because you got this different music playing, that you got Chocobo in the group. What you want to do immediately is throw some greens out there for him. Where are my greens? Okay, so that was an epic fail. You want to know why? It's because my items were not organized appropriately. Uh, let's see. There we go, that's better. Okay, so now, let's try and catch this chocobo. So make sure you got your greens somewhere high on the item list here, because as soon as you go into it, you want to grab those greens and throw them at the chocobo. And then you want to be careful not to hit the chocobo with any attacks. We'll be very careful. If the chocobo looks like it's done eating, throw greens at it again, just to keep it there. Okay, we caught the chocobo, yay! Okay, so it's going to tell us how to ride it. Chocobos will escape whenever a player dismounts. Remember that. So now, let's point towards this moat, and the Midgar Zone is going to chase us, but the Chocobo is faster, and we can get to the other side. And now we can. Let the Chocobo escape. And we'll probably end the video here before we head towards the entrance to these mines. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm Mikey10. This is Final Fantasy 7 and we'll see you next time.